Hi there, I'm Glenn Morris from the Smart Energy Lab. And today I'm just giving a report on how the Kilowatt Lab's Sirius Supercapacitor module uh, has been going. Now I've been having this on test for about six months now. Um, it's part of a microgrid system here at the Smart Energy Lab. We've got a three-phase microgrid uh, formed with uh, three SP Pros and an ultra battery, which is the basis for the microgrid. The ultra battery, in case you haven't heard of it, is uh, a advanced lead acid battery. This is it here, uh, which has uh, a very high charge and discharge rate, something like 1C, um, which is pretty impressive for lead acid. It's also very happy to be um, cycled a lot. Now I've paralleled it with the Kilowatt Labs supercapacitor and there's shunts on both battery systems so we can measure the power flow into each of the batteries. What's really fascinating has been the, the supercapacitor, this unit which is a 3.55 kilowatt hour unit um, with about 120 amps or so continuous uh, power uh, capability but it'll peak way 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 higher than that for short periods. Um, it's doing most of the work. Uh, so what we're seeing is that during the charge and discharge cycles um, it does uh, jumps in first basically and charges first and then discharges first. So when we look at the logs for the two batteries, what we notice is that something like six or seven times a day or more, um, the supercapacitor is cycling. So we're getting a lot of cycles out of this rather small pack, which is supporting a larger battery system. The, the Ultraflex with about 16 kilowatt hours of uh, usable capacity is the main uh, energy store for the, for the microgrid, um, but the supercapacitor is doing the sort of fast charge and discharge component. So it's an interesting combination. Um, I'm not su suggesting that this is the ideal way to use a, a supercapacitor, but it's part of the test bed that we've been running it on. The other thing that I found really uh, you know, uh, <laughs> amazing is this motor-driven circuit breaker here. The motor-driven circuit breaker on the front is controlled by software inside the supercapacitor. So if the battery voltage drops too low, or sorry, the, the supercapacitor module voltage drops too low, it disconnects itself to protect itself from over-discharge, which is not a problem in the case of it being paralleled with other storage sources. Equally, if the charging voltage goes too high, so if it goes above 54 volts, it disconnects itself. So it's got this lovely self-protection system that then resets when it can return to normal operation. So we don't sort of just lose the super cap uh, and then have to go manually reset it. Uh, it'll drive itself, drive the um, circuit breaker back on once the charging voltage is within the safe range. So it's kind of like um, a, a smart storage device that looks after its health and provides the bulk of energy for charge and discharge. Anyway, that's the report on the super capacitor so far, six months in. Uh, very happy with this module. We'll be doing some further testing with other products soon uh, connected to the super capacitor. Anyway, thanks for listening. See ya.